What is going on everyone? Welcome back to my LP of The Price is Right 2010 edition, where I'm playing all of the pricing games for this Let's Play, one pricing game per episode. Today I'll be playing Shell Game, and get this, there are no shells involved in this game. Instead, they're like, top halves of like a red spear, so they act like cups. They're not really shells at all. So, why they call it the shell game? I really don't know. So the thing underneath the red cups, or the red like top half of the cups, or whatever they're called, has a white ball that you have to look for. Maybe they could replace that white ball with a seashell or something. Then they could call it the shell game. Instead, this should be called like the uh, what's that game where you have to put something inside underneath one of the cups and you have to like move the cups around or something like that? I can't remember what it's called, but let's just get into shell game anyways. Oh, well, they actually do look like shells from a glance, but I think so. Wait, there they are down here, the top half of those cups I was mentioning, so why are the shells there? I don't know. This is so confusing. So, underneath one of these four shells, there is a white ball. You can get these four chips by guessing the, uh, oh, they're gonna shuffle the shells first. Well, since we can't tell where the ball is, and those are 2D shells, by the way. The uh, it, it doesn't really matter which one you have to follow. So you have to place a bid on this first item here. Game of Risk and Reward. Worst Case Scenario Game of Surviving Life. Or Comparative. Worst Case Scenario Game of Life. Never heard of that game before. So $33 is not the right price. Is it higher or lower? Let's see. I'm going to say it's lower because it's just cards. You're right. Okay, you good. Just by three dollars, though. So I got a chip. chip in front of one of these so what I do is I gotta pick it, place a chip on one of these, and I think it removes the shell, or I get to pick the shell where I think the ball is placed. I'm willing to put the ball somewhere in the center, so I'm gonna pick this one. Yeah, that's what it is. Once you get a chip, you place it in front of a shell, and that will be your choice. But you get and more picks if you if you can win the plans. next items. So, it looks like a vegetable masher. I'm gonna say it's... Or lower? Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna say higher. It could be like a hundred bucks. Sorry, you're oh, it's wrong. lower. Shoot! Darn Jun! No next chip for me. Is... What's the next this item? Toolkit is great to keep in your a toolkit. Looks like a camcorder because of that lens correct. up there. It kind of looks is like a lens. Price, I'm gonna say lower. You're right. Okay, good. I'll put the chip Place right here. Chip in front of one of these shells. Okay, so I got one more chance. Finally, our last item. If you get all four of the items correct, then you automatically win the game because you pick all four shells. The ball has nowhere to run, <laughs> for lack of better words. So it looks like a candy blender, because it looks like candy is inside of it. It might be a little bit more expensive. I'm going to say higher. Oh, give me a break. The price is wrong. All right. Come on, baby. Come on. It's not under this shell. Okay, that's fine. Is the ball under Not that one on the shell? left. It's not no. under this shell. Come on. Is the ball under Come this on. shell? No. Give me a break! Screw you, game! Ah, and guess what? I was gonna pick the one on the right next too. That is bullcrap. Next time I'm gonna get it right. To the top price is only twenty five hundred dollars? That's it's El Cheapo. You can do better than that shells. price is right. First, let's the <sighs> shells. That got me thinking, too. I haven't watched the prices right in a long time. I wonder if they actually use, like, plastic shells as, like, the cups. Or they do, they, do they use, like, pix, uh, Dixie cups or stuff like that. This is what? A vacuum insulated container? Vacuum -insulated container? This price is incorrect. Is the correct I never heard of that before, so this is going to be a, a blind guess. I'm going to go lower. Sorry, you're wrong. Jeez. It. Well, there goes that chip. How about this one? A snow cone maker. Higher. By $4. Jeez. They don't, they don't hold your hand or anything. Okay. This one. All right. What's the next item? This handy mini a mini fridge. 25 soda cans. I'm gonna say higher. You're right. you get that is chip. pricey. Wow. Place your chip in front of one of these okay. Shells. Last item. Let's make it good. The Come on. Bid on is... 
This adorable frog humidifier <laughs> Wasn't the first item look like a frog too? This item's price See humidifier, I'm gonna say higher. You're right. Okay, nice. Okay. Last time the ball was right here, right? This is gonna be gambler's fallacy. Watch. I'm gonna place it right here. Alright. The ball is not gonna be in the way over to the left. Is the ball under Come on. Come on. Crap. Nope. Ugh. Come on. Is the ball under this shell? No. It probably is under there because I picked this one first. This shell? Yay! Twenty five hundred bucks. Not really that big of a prize at all. Well, I know why it's so low now, because if you get all four of the items correct, then that's just guaranteed right there. Yeah, now I understand why the game is... Oh, this one's 5,000? Okay. But I understand why they're not going to give you a new car in this game, because... A chance to win 100% of the time by getting all four shells like that, then it's just a free car. Because if Price is Right did something like that, and gave away a free car in the shell game, then they're complete idiots. Did this shell move at all? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, whatever. This this thing again! Lower! It was 40 bucks. Lower. Lower. Right here. Aha! Ah, oh, thank goodness for repeat items. The ball's in this one the first time. It was in this one the second time. So maybe in the third game it'll be here. Hey, what's the next item? Here it is. Oh, this one again. Higher. Okay. You get a chip. Just in case, I'm gonna pick the Place last the one because the, the ball shells. hasn't been there yet. Next up, this slender pitcher. Oh, this one's new. Slender pitcher. I'm gonna say this higher. Is, you're right. you nice. Get a chip. I'll go back to Place this one. In front of one of these and what is the last item? Repeat item, isn't it? Finally, our last item. Isn't it? This handy appliance lets no. you cook an egg and toast. I haven't seen this one yet. Cook an egg and toast this or a muffin at the same time. Is the correct price. That's higher convenient. It's gonna be higher, right? You're right. You get a Not chip. by much though. I won. What? They chose it for you me too. You chips. won all four chips. Try to guess which shell the ball is under for a bonus five hundred dollars. Oh, clever. Hang on. <coughs> My throat was itching for some reason. Yeah, I don't remember this part at all. Well, I'm gonna go for this one, my first choice. I got it! <laughs> yes, perfect! Also, I gotta try to find a toaster like that. I have never seen it. A toaster that cooks your toast and a muffin and even an egg? I'm gonna have to look that up. Okay, this time around, the ball's gonna be right here. Ooh, 7,500. They're going up. Must be giving me, like, harder items or something. Like I said, though, the ball will be right here. Right there. It has to be. It's gonna be right there, right? Right? Okay, what's the items anyway? <clears throat> oh, that's easy. Higher. Okay. Hurry up. Give me the chip. Here we go. Right, second item. This adorable frog humidifier oh, wow. How much was the humidifier again? Last time they revealed it was incorrect. the incorrect price the correct of eighteen dollars. I'm gonna say higher. You're right. You it was thirty. Chip. I gotta remember that price. Place your chip I'm gonna place the second shells. one right there. I'm not really too sure for the rest of the shells. Next up is mash your favorite More repeat items. What was this one again? This item's price I'm gonna say lower. Seventy, right? Yep, seventy. I remember. Uh, this one. Okay, come on, move it. That was 49, so lower. Lower. Okay. I'm gonna pick right here for $500. Is it 500? Yep. Here he goes! I got it? Yeah! It went right in order! One, two, three, four! For all four games. Not much depth to it at all. High score again. Uh, trust me, I don't mean to earn high scores in this Let's Play. It's completely irrelevant. This will be my final shell game. If the ball's gonna be right where my Wii remote is pointing at right here, this, like I said in, a in some of my previous episodes of this Let's Play, that this game does not have very good production values. 
Okay, let's shuffle them shells. Shuffle duffle. I don't like the sound it makes. <laughs> okay, first item is... Candy, on your desk is candy dispenser. I'm gonna, I think that's $33, if I remember from a previous episode. Right. Yep. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to place it right here. Alright, moving on. Story Reader Video Plus. Ooh, the I've seen this one before. Story Reader Video Plus. Okay, so it's like a like well, educational like video game software machines, whatever they're called. I'm gonna say a little bit lower than forty-two. Yep, thirty dollars. I don't think they retail for that much. Or should I say that differently? Yeah, I should. I knew they would be as cheap as that much. At least that's how I remember it from where I used to saw, saw them at the uh, Toys R Us stores. That is the now discontinued Toys R Us stores. I'll pick this chip. Or this shell. Bring some elegance to your next A tea kettle? This how about... This item's or teapot, that's what I meant. The... Higher. You're right. Nice. Get a chip. I guess I'll just pick this one just for the heck of it. Of of and can I get the last one? Will it be a repeat item? This it's a repeat item. Fire, it was 30 bucks. Higher. You're right. you get nice. Okay. Will this, the ball be right here? You want I really hope not, but I'm going to go for it anyways. Three, two, one. <laughs> this game has no production values, or just little production values. Jeez. Not much work has, put, has been put into this game at all. It's almost like press your luck. But not as bad. Yeah, since I've already mentioned it, don't play Press Your Luck 2010 Edition. The only good thing about that game are the questions that they give you, because who knows, you might might actually learn something from those questions, but for the Press Your Luck version of the game itself, where you have to push the button and try to win cash or prizes, you can get 5,000 in a free spin, like, so easy. It was like, uh, I don't know if I should mention this, but like, but, uh, you could be like Michael Larson from back in 1984 and just get 5,000 free spin like every single time. Yeah, it's possible in that version of the game for the Wii. Well, enough of me getting that off my chest. With that, that's going to do it for this pricing game. So before Showcase Showdown and Showcase, there's only six other pricing games to go. So we're almost done the Let's Play here. But with that, I'll see you guys in the next video for the next pricing game. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe for more, and don't forget to check out my general channel, Marcus P. Welby, for lots of random content. I will see you later, but until then, like always, take care.